to round pin your pony. This is just going to be a basic one, so I'm only going to make him get into a trot. So first things first, this is just a regular round pin. And then the horse I'm using today is going to be my pretty Mustang. So first off, to begin round pinning, I like to make sure that I'm choosing the direction they start. So let's say he was facing this way. Well, then I'm going to want him to go this way because I want to be the one making the decision first. Horses are very, very intuitive and smart and they know the th certain things they can get away with. So since he's standing in the middle, I'm gonna go right. So he's paying attention to me, I'm paying attention to him. I have my handy stick in my left hand. I'm gonna step to the left until I'm behind his drive line. His drive line is right around his shoulder area. So I'm gonna point with my right hand because I want him to go right. And then I'm going to swing my handy stick behind him like this. Maybe you can kind of see from my shadow. Get back in the center of my round pin, and I'm going to stay behind his drive line. So that area right there, um, that is their drive line. So you want to stay behind it. Because if I step in front of it, he's going to stop and look at me. And by the way, if you accidentally step in front of their drive line and your horse stops and responds to you like this, pretend that you meant to do it and praise him and move on. Because he's doing exactly what you asked, and you don't want to confuse your horse. So as soon as he walks off, I'm going to take the pressure off for a second and then I'm going to ask him to go ahead and trot. And how I do that is just your vocal commands, you know, like your kiss or your cluck. And then pushing him with my handy stick behind him. So sometimes I hit the ground with my handy stick just to make that noise effect. I'm just going to make him do a couple laps so that this video is kind of short and sweet for you guys. An easy way for me to make sure I'm staying behind the drive line is I'm constantly looking at his butt and making sure I'm lined up with his butt. When I ask him to stop, I'm going to take a big step in front of his drive line. So, whoa. Good boy. Very responsive horse. Sometimes it takes a minute for your horse to stop and look at you. What you're waiting for is this right here. He stopped looked at me with both eyes, gave me that respect. I'm gonna go ahead and ask for the other direction. Switch my handy stick to my right hand and I'm gonna go ahead and step on this side of him. Once again, I'm behind that drive line, lining up with his butt. So I'm gonna ask him to stop one more time here. I'm gonna step in front of that drive line. Good boy, Ponder. That's the respect you want from your horse right there. My rule of thumb is, when I go to stop my horse, I give them five seconds to show me the respect I'm looking for. Give them five seconds, and if they don't look at you, push them again. It can be a pretty tedious thing, you know. You have to finish what you started when it comes to horses. But you give up, your horse won, and it's going to be ten times harder the next time. So you, if you're beginning a round pinning session, you need to stay in that round pin until you get your horse's respect on both sides. So he's, he's showing you all a good, respectful response. Another thing I really like to do is make sure to walk up to my horse when I'm all done and praise them. And then rubbing their face with this. So I don't ever want them to think that this is some kind of tool to be afraid of. This is basically just an extension of my arm. Circle stayed pretty consistent, you know, pretty good. Thank you for watching.